are so cute. Oh, look at you. Hey, get over here. Winkle, you're fired. I don't know that you're going to want to go out in this, Winkle. We are right smack in the middle of the storm of the century here in New Jersey and um, didn't shape up to be too much of what they predicted it was going to be. They were saying it was going to be like two feet of snow. So um, here, check it out. We're going to be super blown out, white out here because the whole thing is just covered. But my camera should adjust so hmm, I can barely even open the door because check that out. It's like... I don't know, a lot of that is just snow drifts from the wind, but I don't, I haven't been out there yet. I was going to go out and build a snowman, but honestly, I do not want to go out in this. All right. Okay, you guys, so I'm just warning you that in my opinion, this is probably the most boring vlog ever. But it does address all of the questions that you have been asking me. So maybe it's just boring to me because I'm just so completely over all of it. And maybe you guys won't find it boring. So I hope that you don't. It is quite lengthy and I'm sorry that it went so long. But I guess it all needed some explanation. So here we go. Let's get comfy on this snow day here in New Jersey and let's spill the tea. So first of all, I want to just say um, I'm going to do a Q&A on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, get over to Gretchen's underscore bakery on Instagram. And uh, that's where you guys can ask your questions. And next week in a vlog, I'll answer all of your questions. So, you know, whatever it is, if it's like a baking question, a personal question, like a recipe, like whatever, ask whatever you want. I'm going to kind of pick and choose um, different ones to answer as long as they are appropriate and I can answer them. Um, so go ahead and do that and then next week we'll do a Q&A answer on the next vlog. Um, but just to kind of get out of the way because I've been getting asked these questions more than anything like for years. Number one, why did I sell my bakery? Number two, why did I move to Florida? And then especially why did I move back to New Jersey um, a couple of months ago? And um, I guess that's like the main question, like basically everybody's like, what has happened? Because um, a lot of you guys have been following me for years since Creme Boss days, and so a lot has happened, obviously, we know that. I have started over three times, I'm now doing Gretchen's Bakery, this is my third endeavor, um, a solo mission. So. Um, I'm going to address that here in this vlog today, so we don't really need to ask that on the Instagram Q&A because I'm going to address it right here today. So, number one, why did I sell my bakery? I owned my bakery for 10 years. I bought it in 2005 and I sold it at the end of 2014, so it was just under 10 years. And um, the simple answer is that after 10 years, of no days off, literally working every day. Even though I was closed on a Monday, I still went in on a Monday to do payroll, banking, set up for Tuesday, sort of do a lot of the business stuff that goes along with owning a business. So literally, seven days a week. Um, the only time we were closed was like on Christmas and Thanksgiving Day, I think. And so, 10 years of no days off, 12 to 15 hour days, was like killing me and so that's why I sold it and um, owning a business no matter what businesses I think it is has a way of sucking the passion right out of you I mean I went into this with such a lit up I'm gonna do this and that and I love baking and creating and all of these ideas that I wanted to do um, and I learned pretty quickly that um, the business because I bought an existing business especially it had already been in business for close to 40 years when I bought it I was the fourth owner and um, so that just goes to show you that there was probably about a 10 year time limit on owning this bakery um, obviously 40 years I was the fourth owner I was in it for 10 years the previous owner was in it for I want to say 16 the one before him wasn't in it even close to 10 years and then the original owner was probably there a little over 
I don't know, 10 years. So that seems to be like, um, like the breaking point, I want to say, of when you're just like, all right, I have had enough. So anyway, very physical, very mental, and it literally sucked the passion right out of me. So that brings me to my crumb boss days, which a lot of you have been following me since then. Um, and so you remember, um, and, and I'll link below to my intro to vlogging where I clip in some um, videos from those days and what fun we had. But anyway, I'm bringing that up to say is that I started the crumb boss videos with a friend of mine um, about six years ago. Um, yeah, it was like the end of 2010, I want to say, and never went into it with an intention to make it a business it sort of um, was something that we wanted to do for fun and it was a lot of fun but we learned quickly that wow this could become a business and it did and we were able to make money on YouTube and YouTube was very different back then I mean it wasn't flooded like it is now I was probably one of the first baking channels that started on YouTube back then um, it's just a very different place now um, but anyway that became like, I was like, wow, I knew I didn't want to be in the bakery forever. I don't even think I imagined I'd been there for 10 years. Um, but I knew I needed an exit strategy and I just didn't know what that was going to be. And so when I started doing the YouTube videos and it was able to be a business for me, I was like, wow, this is it. And this is how I'm going to get out of the bakery and continue doing what I love because I absolutely love sharing my recipes with you guys and um, you know doing the videos and the whole blog. And even though my channel has has evolved over the years into what it is now and I'll get into that um, but let me backtrack so the whole thing about the crumb boss and my friend and I who started it um, you know it became a partnership a business partnership and the reason why it fell apart so to speak is because we basically just had a difference in creative opinions of where we wanted the channel to go um, and that's really it there's not a lot of drama behind it it was just really that she had one idea of what she wanted to do with it and I had another idea and it just didn't sort of meld and so um, we split based on that and it's a shame because um, anyway I mean I guess it's a shame it sort of is because we had a lot of fun with it um, but at the same time, um, I think it was a stepping stone. I, I know it was a stepping stone for me to sort of develop into what I am now. And I do love teaching recipes. I love the science of baking and being able to help you guys um, be better bakers and understand why things happen inside of a recipe. And I get so many emails for years and years about um, just thanking me of how I have helped you guys become better bakers and I just love that and so that for me was the stepping stone into what I'm doing now um, because look I I'm not a comedian um, I think what she and I had and why our channel was so fun and funny was because of the dynamic that she and I had together but as far as me trying to do that myself it's not gonna work and it doesn't really work and and at the end of the day that's not really what I wanted to be anyway I, I'm not like a comedy channel and so yeah the crumb boss days was fun absolutely fun but it was the stepping stone into making this more of like a career for me which my second partnership actually was um, on its way to doing um, and I can't go into a lot of details about that whole thing and I know a lot of you guys got on board with me um, during that time which was my second channel uh, I can't go into details about that because that whole thing went really ugly and it turned into a lawsuit and a, and a legal battle and um, so I just really can't talk about any of that stuff and nor do I want to. I'm not trying to like kick up dirt and rehash anything and make anybody look ugly and um, you know it is what it is and um, it was a really bad time but what it made me realize was that I because that whole thing shut down because of the whole legal thing around it my whole second channel shut down my blog shut down and what I got out of that was that I love doing this and I don't want to stop doing this no matter what um, but because of financial the financial strain um, that that lawsuit put on me I mean I lost more than half of what I got from the bakery sale to that um, I wasn't getting an income from the bakery anymore the whole blog shut down there was no more money coming in for a long time 
And so, um, but I didn't want to stop doing it. I was like, I, I love this. I really want to keep sharing with you guys. And so that was where Gretchen's Bakery was born and my solo mission. And um, if I can say one thing that someone told me a long time ago, he said, Gretchen, the only thing partners are good for is dancing. And I think I am, have learned that lesson. It took me a long time to actually learn that, but I am learning that. And um, so why did I move to Florida? Well, because I lost all my money and I lost my business and everything that I had been working for. And I couldn't afford to live in New Jersey anymore because I am a single person and I've always lived alone and um, Jersey's very expensive and, and I had no income coming in. So I moved down to Florida because my mom and stepfather have a rental property and they offered to help me out for a couple of months um, rent free so that I could rebuild my business and my finances and so I took advantage of that opportunity and um, I basically hold myself up in that house in Florida for a year and did nothing but work on rebuilding my videos replacing my recipes to my blog um, and I kicked butt man you guys I worked so hard and I really did rebuild it to the point where it was doing really well and so um, I got it to that point. It was close to a year that I was there and I said, all right, you know what? I did a really great job of rebuilding this whole thing. I'm now making enough money that it's actually paying for itself. I knew I needed to get it to the next step, which was, um, you know, sort of like connecting the back end pieces, which I don't know a lot about. So I hired an SEO company. And if any of you guys know what that is, it means search engine optimization. And basically that's um, people who can help you plug in um, all of the coding and all of the communications I should say to Google because essentially this is a, a business right this is an online business and I want to rank as high as I possibly can in Google so that I make more money I mean that's the name of the game and so I hesitated to hire an SEO company for a really long time because I've heard nothing but nightmare stories about it and I just didn't want to go there but I got a personal referral from someone anyway they spoke nothing but high accolades about this company and and they were having a great experience with them so I said alright wow what better than a personal referral right like I could rest easy that I know I'm hiring a decent company well long story short they essentially put me out of business they had absolutely no idea what they were doing and they literally broke my blog and um, so yeah, I pretty much went out of business last July while I was still in Florida and um, I was actually in the process back in the summer of moving back to New Jersey because I felt like, all right, I came down here, I did what I had to do, I've rebuilt, I'm starting to make money now and I can finally move back to Jersey because um, I wanted a white picket fence and happily ever after with um, so, uh, you guys might know a little bit of my personal story and again I don't want to get into super details because I don't want to throw people under the bus and I just don't feel it's appropriate to like I don't know like bring people into the story that aren't in my story anymore and um, so you some of you probably know what I'm talking about but um, I did have every intention to come back to New Jersey and live happily ever after with um, someone and so that didn't go as planned and you know whatever with that I really I'll say it I always say it that everything happens for a reason and um, it may not be comfortable and we may not like how it feels and we may not agree with it but I do believe that everything does happen for a reason and um, that was not meant for me let's just put it like that and so um, you know whatever with that uh, yeah I'm, I'm fumbling because I don't want to say too much um, around it um, but let's just say that everything is a learning experience and and there's lessons around a lot of things and I tend to be very hard-headed around certain things um, but you know what it's all good and I, I intended to come back to New Jersey with or without that other thing happening and so that's why I came back um, Florida for me turned out to be phew, like just everything sort of fell apart everything that I had been working towards it seemed literally fell apart and so for a minute I had to question you know like 
in regards to the blog and my video business, like, what am I doing? Am I supposed to be doing this? I mean, how many times can the universe tell me, Gretchen, this is not meant for you? And so um, I don't know that it's still not because it still does feel right. Like, I love sharing my recipes. I love my blog. I love the interaction with you guys. I absolutely love it. Maybe I'm not supposed to go at this as a business, and it's absolutely not a business anymore. I mean, I'm barely making enough money now to actually pay for the cost to run it, which is where I'm going to plug my Patreon uh, link below if you guys want to check that out and if you can help me and support Gretchen's Bakery in any Anyway, as little as a dollar a month, I would love it. So um, definitely click that link. I know, shameless plug, but hey, gotta do what you gotta do, right? Anyway, I do love what I'm doing. I hope that my explanation there has sort of cleared up a lot of what's been happening and why I've been moving around so much and why one transition to the next. And, um, you know, just like this process, this like transforming process process and it has been a transforming process I mean from where I started to where I am now I know a lot of you guys always comment and you're like oh I missed the old crumb boss videos I missed the videos from when you were in your bakery um, well you know what I can't go backwards I can only go forward and it would be inauthentic to try and recreate um, that time in my life because I'm just not there anymore. I'm at a different place and you know That's the one thing you can bet on in life is that everything changes and everything ends those two things I absolutely know and so as long as you know that then you're good and you can kind of keep rolling with it and keep moving forward and take the lessons as they come and I hope that I'm doing that I know I'm hard-headed and I'm stubborn and I don't often like to take the lessons as they come to me um, but I think I'm doing okay about it. And um, anyway, I hope that's a good enough explanation for you guys as far as what's happened. Why did I sell my bakery? Why did I move to Florida? And then why did I move back? Um, I had every intention on coming back to New Jersey. The Florida thing was a temporary thing for me, even though you know, coming back wasn't exactly what I thought it would look like, um, that's okay. I'm actually in a good place and um, I'm sort of just seeing where it goes next. Um, I've only been home for a couple of months and um, I'm still trying to get my footing. I'm still rebuilding this blog again because I cannot give up and it's like, man, how long am I going to beat this dead horse? But I don't know that it's actually dead. I just think it might... Um, have to look a little bit different and move forward and um, try to just take it all as a positive thing and um, that's what I'm really trying to do so I just want to say thank you to you guys you guys are so awesome in your support and encouragement of me over all of these rocky bumpy years it has been a crazy ride for sure and um, I don't know I just feel like you guys are really a, a, so supportive to me and um, genuinely want to see me do well and a lot of you aren't on board with this whole vegan thing and I totally get that but you're still kind of hanging with me and and I really do appreciate that that means so much to me that's just like and that's why I love doing this vlog so definitely comment below I love the feedback I love the interaction you guys know that I always answer every comment and um, let me know what you want to see me doing in the next vlog as I said go to my Instagram we're gonna do Q&A so that'll be the next one and um, I don't know I'm just trying to keep it like um, interesting and that's why I'm not vlogging every day because my life every day certainly is not very interesting um, but yeah this is fun for me and I hope it's fun for you guys so definitely subscribe to my channel if you're not already give me a like get on all my social media get to gretchensbakery.com get to gretchensveganbakery.com for all the recipes and um, I don't know I'll see you guys again and uh, we'll chat some more all right bye bye <laughs> Thank you.